how does a Herco just like this bring cutting edge engine manufacturing in-house for this rural Scottish manufacturer? Duncan, congratulations on some incredible components you're making. They go in, in super bikes and stuff, I don't know, what, what are you doing here? Oh, well, here at Dunbar Race Engineering, uh, we make components for historic racing motorcycles, um, as well as parts for internal combustion engines, high efficiency engines that are targeting the hydrogen market. Yeah, absolutely, some really incredible engineering going on in quite a small unit. Um, and you've got a really nice Herco machine here making some fantastic components. What was the story behind um, going from no machining capability to having this machine here on site? Uh, well, my background is a mechanical design engineer. Um, and when I started Dunbar Race Engineering, I was doing design projects for customers. Uh, and after a couple of years, it felt like a natural progression instead of subcontracting the parts out that we're designing to bring them in-house and add manufacturing capabilities to the business which um, has given us a great amount of flexibility, um, which we can pass on to our customers. Yeah, absolutely. And how hard was that process to go from having no manufacturing capability and you previously not really made any many components, only on manual machines before, right? Yeah, that's correct. Well, it was a little bit daunting at first, um, but it actually went very smoothly as it turned out. Um, I looked around uh, for a machine tool supplier um, and had a recommendation for a Herco machine from a former colleague who'd worked with them in the past. Um, so got in touch with them, visited their site in High Wycombe. Uh, and I have to say, we, we didn't just look for a machine that was capable, we also looked for um, a supplier that we could build a relationship with. And it was something that um, I felt and found with Herco straight away. They were nice people to deal with, um, as well as having a cracking machine. And that's why we chose them. And having a good relationship with machine builder is really important, but what do you actually need from the machine mechanically in terms of the tolerances it can hit and uh, what kind of materials it can work in? Well, we went for this machine because the uh, working envelope versus the size of the machine fitted our business and the space we've got very nicely. Um, also going for a machine with a fourth axis has given us a lot of flexibility. We use a quick clamp system with that so we can get the tombstone on and off. Uh, and with the rotary, we can get round about the parts more easily, cuts down the number of setups. Uh, some of the parts we're working to uh, quite tight tolerances on. For example, we've been making a set of aluminium crankcases for a research engine. So the uh, main bearing bores uh, on that have to be absolutely bob on. Um, also, we've been producing a cylinder block for the same research engine, which is a wet liner, which is interfered in. So there, the bores on that are um, 90 millimeter bore. Um, and they're plus or minus 10 microns to get the correct interference. Yeah. Uh, which is something we're managing to hit with no problem at all with this machine. Amazingly tight tolerances. Um, and that's from, from coming from really kind of not much of a manufacturing background, a strong mechanical design. But how was it, um, what is it about the machine that makes it easy to go from not much manufacturing knowledge to then being able to make these amazing crank cases with, 90, uh, with, with, with these such tight tolerances on these, on these bores? Uh, well, the machine itself is a cracking machine. Herco produce very good products. Um, the applications engineers at Herco have been very supportive. Um, and right from the offset, we spoke to them and said, this is what we're trying to do. So we had the support and the guidance um, in how we set the machine up uh, and how we ran the machine uh, from, from them, which really helped get us going. And when it comes to the operators interacting with the machine and getting those bores right, for example, um, there's a really big point of Herco, which is the WinMax control, being able to do conversational programming. How important is that in getting set up and getting started with a CNC machine like this? Well, it makes life easy. The training uh, that walked us through that was very good, uh, and the system's very intuitive to use. It's something that we really like about the machine. So um, in, in that example, hitting these bore tolerances, if we've got a boring bar going in, we're maybe taking an initial cut plus two or three sighter cuts to dial in how the boring bar's cutting. Being able to do that all on the machine um, really speeds the job up, but also because of the software and because of the conversational control, it makes it nice and easy to do. Um, so we're very pleased with that aspect. And what is it exactly about the WinMax control that um, helps you make sure that you're cutting the right components, even when you've not been running machine C that long? Something we love about the Herco WinMax uh, system is the toolpath simulation. What we see on the screen is what we get on the part, and that's something that the application engineers made really clear to us and rings in our ears every time we're making a new part. 
and so far it's uh, served us very well. Has it? Has it saved you in certain moments? It has. It's saved our bacon a couple of times. We've had uh, one or two near misses that we've just spotted on the control and we've been looking at it and realising what we thought we were going to get um, wasn't quite right and we've made some adjustments. So it really is a fail safe at the end of the process for us and it's, it's a really big deal. So we really like that Herkel feature. Yeah, absolutely. And looking at some of the components as well, there's a lot of different sides you've got to hit that I assume are all tolerance quite tightly together. What does the rotary table mean when you're trying to make components like that? Yeah, well, for example, with the cylinder block, when that's put in the rotary, we can get round the four outsides of it in one hit. And then we know the relationship between these four surfaces um, is all correct to each other. It takes out not just setup time, but it takes out the worry um, of having, having an error. And in terms of the actual construction of the machine itself as well, um, it fits in quite a small space in your unit. What else do you like about the, the Herco machine? Now you've been using it for a few years. Um, to be honest, we like everything about it, um, especially the tool carousel. keeps everything out of the way. It's much nicer than the uh, umbrella type setup. Um, the air blast, the coolant system on it um, works as it should. It just makes everything very simple for us. Brilliant. So going from uh, no machining capability to having a machine in-house making complex components for development engines, super bikes, that's the VM10i from Herco.